stigma and pain seem to go hand in hand. People look at you and can't understand because it's an invisible disability. And people say, well, why, do, why can't you go to work? You, you look fine to me. Well, they don't get how painful it is to be in work and be do stuff which they take for granted. You know, people actually hide the fact that they're in pain because they don't want the stigma of saying that because they'd be scared that people won't believe them. And people get upset and depressed about this and it affects their life. You know, people are making themselves go out to work in excruciating pain and constantly making their condition worse and worse and worse because they're scared of stigma. They're scared of taking time off work. They're scared of admitting it to the boss in case the boss thinks that they're not good enough for the job. I've had people say to me, well, if you cut your finger, you don't realise the pain until you look at it. So if you start thinking about pain, you won't be in pain. And I really wish it was as easy as that, but it isn't. And you have to justify why you can't do stuff, why you can't walk that little bit further, why you can't go and do this or that, and why it takes you a lot longer to do stuff. People will say, oh, what are you so slow for? Or why can't you just do that? Because they look at you and it's an invisible condition and it's debilitating. It affects every part of your life. It affects your sleep. It affects your being up. Even having to make plans. I feel guilty to be making plans with people to do stuff because I feel like I don't deserve to spend time with people because if I can do that, why can't I go to work? But people don't realise that I have rested and took my time getting ready and I've planned to do that just that one thing that day just that one thing to make me feel normal, to make me feel like everybody else. I'm so lucky that I've got the best family and friends that understand and I've had it all my life. But a lot of people, they don't have that support and it's the strangers that are always the most critical and most stigma because they only see your good side. They don't see your bad side where you can't get out of bed, you're crawling up the stairs, you're sitting in the bath because you can't stand up because it's that painful, but you need to have a bath. These are the things that people don't see. People need to remember what goes on behind closed doors and what people do just to look normal, just for a few hours, because it's never going to go away. It's never going to get better for some people. Some people, it's pain that lasts for a short amount of time but they'll remember that they've had that pain really bad. And then there's people like me, who I know I will be in pain every day, all day, for the rest of my life. And with age and deterioration of your body, naturally what happens to everybody, that's gonna get worse and worse. And that's hard to deal with. I've been on Cocodamol since I was 15, and now I've had to move on to morphine patches because my body, can't take the pain even more and more and then your body ends up getting used to the medication and that's what a lot of stigma is about as well taking medication for pain there's a lot of stigma about it and it shouldn't be it's always better to take the medication before the pain gets so extreme because you'll find you might have to take less medication if you keep on top of it if you need your medication take your medication there shouldn't be a stigma about that. It's part of life and it's part of what you are. And until the stigma changes, people are always going to hide it. I'm an open book. I'll tell anyone everything. But some people don't. And they're the ones that deal with it every day in silence.